let's talk about something that may have been overlooked during Neo Day 2020, Neo Life. Hey everyone, I'm The Anonymous Investor, welcome back to the channel, let's talk about NEO. Now after the NEO Day presentation, I took the time to see what other people were saying about NEO Day, and I don't know why me, Kevin, is the only one showing up right here, but I watched a lot of videos, and the majority consensus around NEO Day was that it was very positive, right? I saw like 5x price targets, going to 100, going to 200, NEO to the moon, but everything seemed to focus on the main things, right? The solid state battery, um, the new, the ET7, the partnership with NVIDIA, it was all the same. Now, in psychology, there's this idea of the primacy effect, which is the tendency to remember the first piece of information we encounter better than other information presented later on. And I mention this because going back to Neo Life, if you saw the presentation, the CEO actually started off by thanking the community, and the very first thing he mentioned was Neo Life before going on to the actual presentation. So once I finished the presentation and finished recording my presentation on it, I couldn't stop thinking about Neo Life. And that's interesting because the only YouTuber I heard mention Neo Life was actually Meet Kevin, and it wasn't a very positive view about Neo Life. Let's actually check out what he had to say. Wait, wait. wait. Uh, I have to say, I don't know if this is just to try to like play off Tesla or if this was just like, hey, look, we have another avenue to monetize. But, you know, the whole Neo Life thing, I get it. They're trying to create this lifestyle brand. It's nice. I'm sure the stuff's going to be high quality, and, and that's what their company exudes, right? Luxury and quality. Uh, I, I don't know if it really had a if it really belonged in the Neo Day presentation. I mean, I suppose it does. But it just seems like, you know, you walk into the Toyota car dealership and they have, like, the, the Toyota shirts and stuff that you can buy. It seems a little bit more, like, not not something that really belonged in how big today should have been for Neo. And overall, let me just tell you, I actually like that Meet Kevin had a negative outlook on Neo Day overall. He actually made a follow-up video addressing his negative outlook, which I totally agree with. Not, not to say that I agree with his opinions, but I agree that it is such a good idea to be hypercritical of the investments that you're invested in because that's where you have your money at. So I think some, sometimes it happens like we want things to go right, we want things to go positive, and we fall into this sort of confirmation bias where we only hear the good things. And I think that's happening, well, that's happened a lot with so many stocks this year. It's happened with Tesla, it happened with Neo. It's like, it's only like things are ever going to the moon, but we really should take the time to analyze things thoroughly. With that said, I want to talk about Neo life, but I also want to talk about the psychology behind Neo, or at least what I noticed from the fact that the CEO started off by thanking the whole community. So before the actual presentation itself, three short movies actually played and I barely just got around seeing them and it definitely provided context to the beginning of the actual presentation. The last short movie talks about an inn that is now fully booked thanks essentially to Neo users. So one thing that was mentioned was that Neo users have actively participated in public service. During the COVID outbreak, 2,476 users together with Neo user Trust donated what is the equivalent of over 1.2 million of aid funds and supplies to Wuhan. And in 2020, over 12,000 new users participated in over 500 philanthropic activities involving COVID, which consisted against protecting the environment and taking care of the vulnerable. Also in 2020, 2,552 users joined the new user volunteers and then the CEO emphasizes that they took their own free time to volunteer, specifically in showrooms, delivery centers, auto shows, and other events, in order to help more people get to know smart EVs and to learn more about Neo. So the whole premise and the whole context I'm trying to lay down is just the fact that the, the way this starts off, going back to the primacy effect, the CEO specifically focus on not the company itself, but instead the community, the Neo community, the user base, and then it leads to this Neo life and from my perspective, what I'm seeing, it's not just like, here's some merch, go buy it. What I'm seeing is that Neo is essentially trying to create this whole community around Neo and make Neo more than just a car company. Just like how Tesla is not just a car company, it is so much more, it is disruptive technology. Neo is trying to become a lifestyle. So that's where the clothing comes in. That's where the whole community center comes in. That's where the three films of the beginning come in. So this is interesting because when, when I think of the when I think of the companies that have really made an impact in people's lives, these are these are essentially companies that have really just embraced and became part of the culture. You know, you think of Apple, where anything Apple does, it's it's like an instant success. It's an instant hit. It's almost like you have a cult following, right? With the iPhone and the iPad and then the smartwatch or what is it called? The iWatch, I don't know. I'm not an Apple user, but everything Apple does, it, it's always an instant success. Even when people criticize it at first, it's it's just like you, you have this cult following. And similar things can be said for Tesla, right? Tesla has this cult-like following where Elon Musk can make Tesla Kila, can make short shorts, and they sell out instantly. Imagine if 
Tesla was to make its own clothing line, like an actual legit clothing line, I guarantee you that would always be off the shelves. Or when you look at actual legit clothing likes, like Supreme or like Yeezys, when, when something becomes a lifestyle brand, it just gets adopted by the masses. And I think that's what Neo's going for. So this Neo Life, I don't think this is the last we're gonna see of it. It's also environmentally friendly. This is gonna be used, um, created from the materials, from the parts of Neo, if I'm not mistaken. Here, I, let me rewind. I think it was somewhere here. Yeah, it's eco-friendly fashion products by recovering the scrap materials during the vehicle manufacturing process. So I definitely think people shouldn't be underestimating Neo Life and essentially what the impact of a cult following can do. I mean, I, I even just think of like sports in general, right? You have your people that are into, man, I'm not into sports, but like you have your people that are diehard. They bleed a specific sports like 49ers, Raiders, or basketball Lakers. You, you know, you're diehard to this no matter what, and you just embody every piece of it. And I think that's what Neo's going for. Also, you have to keep in mind that Neo is 100% a Chinese company, whereas Tesla was actually allowed to operate un under in China without any like sort of 50-50 agreement. So there's definitely that competitive edge going on, right? You want your own country to develop a good car that's successful, that even beats the competition, especially some foreign competition, especially with, you know, we, the China and United States don't necessarily have the best relationship. So it just makes me wonder like, in China specifically, I think Neo will have to dominate just given that it's like the home court advantage, given that you have the entire company backing it, given that you're trying to create this lifestyle around it from a completely psychological point of view without looking at the fundamentals or the technical analysis or any of that. I, I think there's a lot more to this Neo life. And I think maybe that's why it was put at the front of the presentation, followed by the three stories um, involving the community again it was very community centered which is something that i picked up on only after watching other people's videos and how they only talked about the solid state battery again and the shots that tesla that neil took at tesla and all that i, th I think we have a lot more to see from neil life but maybe i could be completely wrong maybe i could be just be reading into things but i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments below do you guys think there's anything more to this neil life or do you think that, that that was just an aside and we should completely forget about it and instead we should focus on the company itself, the car itself? Or is there more to it? Is this Neo Life, are they going for this global domination and making it a lifestyle brand where it is known everywhere? Any not thoughts, let me know in the comments below. I am super curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it.